Hi friends, and welcome to my DIY channel, The Crafty Flight Attendant. I am Kathy Jen. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome aboard. I would love for you to continue the journey with me, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course the bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you have been here before, thank you so much for your continued support. Now I invite you to bring your seat back to its full and upright position, bring your flight attendant call button for your favorite beverage, haha, ha, just kidding, and plug in those glue guns because we have been cleared for crafting. In this video, we are going to be making this beautiful sign that I made out of a Dollar Tree Valentine sign, one of the long ones that says love or home. I turned it over, I took all the stuff off of it, turned it over, I filled the uh, handle holes or the hanger holes in with uh, the lightweight spackle that you can get at Dollar Tree and then I sanded those down and then here you see me painting the uh, back of the sign with some white Waverly chalk paint. I wasn't able to get the video footage of me painting the first coat at least, the red hearts that we're going to be using, but they're just the red plastic hearts that you can that are fillable that you can buy at Dollar Tree I think they come in a pack of five or six for of course a dollar I mean getting out my heat gun because as you know I'm very impatient long-haul flights are not my thing I like those short hops so I also like my paint to dry a little faster <laughs> so I do get out my heat gun to help me out with that a little bit and then I put on a few extra coats where I could see some of the back of the signs starting to come through and then I was doing the sides as well. This was actually the first time and I don't have video of that either unfortunately that I took two of the signs and I glued them together because I had heard somebody else say that they are much stronger when they're glued like you take the two fronts and you hot glue them together. So I was trying to make sure that I painted the sides and got them fully covered as well. I really wanted this to be a beautiful bright white. So I did keep applying my uh, white chalk paint because I wanted it to have that really vibrant white so that the uh, hearts really stood out and the red really stood out. See, here's the little yellow, or I'm sorry, the little red hearts that I painted white. And then I got um, the square wooden dowels and I bought them from Hobby Lobby and what I'm doing is just using those are the uh, the touch-up pens that you can buy at Dollar Tree they come three to a pack they come in wood colors and I think on this I am using walnut and I'm just coloring the wooden dowels in so they are a dark wood color and I'm going to use them to frame out uh, the sign And I think they were half inch or quarter inch by uh, 36 inches and I just cut them down. And then these are the long dowels that will go on the top and the bottom. And I went ahead and I just colored those as well. These paint pens are, these touch up pens are really nice. And like I said, you get three of them for a dollar and they come in oak, walnut, and my mahogany, I think, is the other color. Now here you see me uh, putting them on the board just to make sure I wanted to see how it was all going to look and how it was going to fit and make sure that all my cuts were right. And then I wanted to make sure that my hearts were going to fit as well. And again, see there's the red heart that I was telling you about. All I did was get them and take them apart and painted them all white with my Waverly chalk paint and uh, put them on the sign and then I decorated the hearts. I was trying to decide how I wanted to decorate them and I ended up doing some small red ribbon on the center one and I just put that down, glued it to the back and um, until it had the formation on the front that I wanted. And then the two hearts on either side of that, I used um, some red, I think the color is crimson, Waverly chalk paint. And I used one of my polka dot or little dot brushes, little dauber brushes. And I put polka dots on the hearts next to this one. And then if you see down in the left hand corner, underneath that galvanized heart are some red burlap hearts. 
I think I found those, I think I actually did find those at my Dollar Tree and they came like eight to a package for a dollar and um, I went ahead and decided to Mod Podge those down to the very last hearts, which after I did it, I thought, why did I take red hearts, paint them white, and then put red over the top of them? I don't know. I think it was pretty late when I was doing this, and so I think my brain may have been a, a bit running on empty. But I think that you'll like the end result. I really like the end result. I think it turned out super cute. And I really had a good time making this. It was a lot of fun. Then with the excess ribbon that I had left, I went ahead and stuck a tiny bow up on top of my heart. And I looked around in my stash to see if I had a little rhinestone I could put up there. These I think I picked up at Michael's during Halloween, so they were just in my stash. And I decided to stick a small rhinestone up there just to add a little bit to, as Olivia would say, to zhuzh it up. And here you're going to see me paint the red dots on the other two hearts with my round circle brush. I also picked these up um, at, I think I got the, the black ones, I got, this is a really small round brush. I got these at, this one at Michael's, I believe. But it was just a pack of sponge brushes. It, the package had maybe three or four brushes in it, and it couldn't have been more than a couple of dollars. But I really like the way it does polka dots. And again with my heat gun. I really wasn't sure. I'm going back over my polka dots because I wanted to make sure that I really didn't have a lot of uh, missing paint in the sponge marks or bubbles or anything like that. And then I really wasn't sure how I wanted to decorate those last two white hearts. Um, again, I think I was doing this late at night and I think that my brain was on overdrive and I think originally that I wanted to do, I wanted to use the galvanized heart, but it just wasn't small enough and so then I just decided to get out my Mod Podge and Mod Podge these burlap hearts on. So I put at first I thought, well, maybe I'll cut, maybe I'll, at first I thought, well, maybe I'll cut it down a little bit, but then I kept measuring it and I thought, no, it doesn't really need to be cut down. So then I just started um, putting Mod Podge on the burlap and putting Mod Podge on the plastic heart and eventually it just stuck. And so you see me put it down. And then I realized it wasn't going to stick unless I put some Mod Podge on the heart. So this is what I'm doing here, is adding more Mod Podge to the heart and then sticking the burlap down and rubbing more Mod Podge on top of the burlap heart to get it to stick to the plastic heart. I wasn't totally convinced that my second heart was going to stick. The first one seemed to do pretty good, but I was a little unsure about the second one. So. After I laid it down, I went ahead and went in with some more Mod Podge just to make sure that it was good and stuck. And of course, I brought in my heat gun to help it out just a little bit. As you can see, most of the Mod Podge on the burlap has, um, has dried because the heart is nice and red. And here what I'm doing is I had found a small piece of green glitter that was on my red heart and I didn't want it there so I'm using my craft knife to try and get that off. Now when I was putting this together I think I made a couple of mistakes. I glued these hearts down a couple different times before I was satisfied with them and then had to heat them up and pull them off and re-glue them and I definitely think that what you should do is if you're going to frame it out with the wooden dowels is I would definitely glue those wooden dowels down first 
and then I would put your hearts where you want them and then maybe take a pencil and mark underneath the heart exactly where you want it to be because I did not do that on um, the first time around and uh, like I said made a couple of mistakes I don't know if you'll see them in the video but I made a couple of mistakes about where I wanted the hearts to go and had to pick them up and put them back down a couple of times here I am finishing off I decide this is where everything is glued down so I guess you don't see my mistakes that's good editing on my husband's job that's what you call a good pilot and you can see me putting burlap bows. I'm making burlap bows to put on the red burlap hearts. And when I make my burlap bows, I don't really like them to be all hairy. They kind of have that hairy burlap feel to them. So I usually take a lighter and uh, I burn the edges. And that's what you see me doing here. And it just gives them a little bit more polished, finished, kind of a more of a little rustic look because you can see some of the burn marks on them. I learned how to make my bows through watching Melissa at All Things Crafty. She's one of my favorite DIYers. So I guess things weren't glued down at this point. So you can see me putting glue on the back of the hearts and starting to glue them down. It's hard to glue stuff down when all you have is just a small, tiny, skinny edge. I'm sorry that this is a little bit out of frame. I hope that you're able to see what I'm doing easily enough. You see me here making my second burlap bow. Again, out of all the things that I have learned on the internet or on YouTube, I would have to say that learning how to make these burlap bows and probably tassels from Melissa at All Things Crafty was probably about the best thing ever. Now everything was glued down and we are actually getting ready to come in for a landing. This is how it looks up on my wall in my house. I did add a little bit of red raffia at the top and I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this craft as much as I did and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a nice day and bye bye.